Walking out of these liquor stores, I'm always going to have a smile on my face and probably a bottle in hand. Here's the top three best kind of liquor stores. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bourbon Hutch, and thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So that's right, today we're doing a list of the top three best kind of liquor stores. A little while ago I did a video on the top three worst kind of liquor stores. I don't like being negative, but that was a little bit more about venting some frustration, getting some things off my chest about what really aggravates me about liquor stores. Now I get to just speak about the things that liquor stores can do really well that always put a smile on my face and that make me want to come back over and over and over again. Before we dive into the list, you just want to say that we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. If we hit that goal, we're going to do a really fun giveaway. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting that big red button. And while you're at it, smash that like button too. All right, let's get into the list now. These aren't in any particular order, but the number one kind of bourbon store that I really love and think just does a really good job is the Store Pick Liquor Store. So Store Picks are first of all a great way to diversify your collection and get some more unique things. If you find a store in particular that you get a couple of picks from and you really like what they're picking out, you can sort of figure out the palettes that are working behind that store to go pick barrels and you can know that they're pretty much always going to be really quality whiskey when they bring it in. I love stores that obviously make their store picks accessible to everybody, are proud of them and want to show them off, and have them at a reasonable price. This is actually a New Riff single barrel bourbon store pick from a store down the street that I actually really enjoy. It's a great product and it's got this really nice blackberry note on it that I just haven't gotten on many other products. Mm. Just some really nice like blackberries and cream and some spiciness. Very good. But anyway, a store that has a really nice selection of store picks. It doesn't even need to be the kind of store that has a lot of allocated bottles at that point. If they're really dedicated and have good palates and want to produce some really good store picks for their customers, that is a highlighting feature and one that I am always just going to give a big thumbs up to. All right, so moving on now to the second category of stores that I just really love to frequent and think do a phenomenal job. This one's a little bit more nuanced, but we'll start with the broad category, which is mom and pop stores. So mom and pop stores admittedly can be a bit hit or miss. These can be the places that are most driving up prices and price gouging and really holding back those allocated bottles for their most favorite people, and that can be frustrating, but they can also be the kinds of places that do almost everything right, and because they're independently owned, can really do some special things that keep customers coming back. So some features that I've seen mom and pop stores do the best, first of all, they can just have really nice prices, which is great. Second of all, tastings. They can run different tastings. I've seen some really nice bottles be available in tastings, which is always a pleasant surprise. And often these tastings are all designed to help you taste stuff before you buy a really expensive bottle, which is always super nice. Another thing I've seen mom and pop stores do is support local charities. Obviously, when you're supporting a mom and pop store, you're also just supporting a local business, which is nice. But add on top of that, that they'll do special things like support a charity with some of their nicer bottles. I always have to give that a little round of applause and just say like, thank you for doing that and thank you for doing things right. Okay, let's move on to the final kind of store that just is really, really nice to see. And that is the store with the best prices in town. Now, this is pretty much the simplest category, but it's something I've noticed in my bourbon hunting journey so far, which is some stores just have really exceptional prices on certain bottles over time and that's going to make me want to come there buy those bottles there and i'm always going to be checking out what else they have so for instance i'll come into a store and see that they have elijah craig for 25 dollars, and most other stores in the area are going to have it for 30 to 35 bucks which seeing it that low at a discounted rate just draws you in another example wild turkey i've seen that for like 17 or 18 bucks most places you're going to see it for 24 23 bucks but even that slight difference on these staple bottles is just a really nice feature that i think these stores do really really well now they can obviously take that to the next level with some higher level bottles that have some really nice prices which i've also seen and really appreciate 
But overall, I think in the general consensus of a bourbon community in a certain area, you might know which stores often have the best deals on certain bottles. And that's always going to draw me in to go get those staples especially and see what else they might have for a discount or a really good price. And one more thing I wanted to say about this kind of store and pricing in general in bourbon. Obviously, we're seeing a lot of price gouging going on and businesses that do that. I understand they're trying to make as much money as they can. They're trying to make a buck, trying to turn as good a profit as they can. And these are the kinds of stores that have really nice prices, even on the most staple bottles. And it it tells me that they actually value their customers and they want us to have a good experience and they don't want to break our banks. They want us to be regulars, to keep coming back and to enjoy bourbon because we're trying to all share in this great spirit. So I think that's going to wrap up my thoughts here on the best kind of liquor stores. But I want to hear from you guys. What kind of stores do you look for? What features in those stores are you keeping an eye out for? And what do you think makes a liquor store stand out among the crowd as one of the best. Until I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking good whiskey, keep going to those really good liquor stores, and cheers.